You think you're going to get rich selling your Power BI consulting services online? Well, I paid someone just $5 to make this dashboard right here, and it proves why your business idea isn't going to work. My name's Ned. This is my dog, Jai, and we make videos on Microsoft Power BI. Lately, I've been seeing people try to sell courses on how to become a Power BI consultant. This screams red flags to me. As someone who's worked with Microsoft Power BI for about seven years and worked in the BI industry for almost 10, and as someone who's worked with both onshore and offshore consultants, we're here to tell you that you should not start your own Power BI consulting business unless you have some serious credentials. And I mean Microsoft MVP level credentials, because otherwise you're just probably not going to make it. In this video, we're going to be proving that by reviewing the dashboard that I paid someone just $5 to make. We're going to be looking at what they could have done better, but also we're going to be talking about what went right with it. And I'll give you a hint, a lot more went right with it than went wrong with it. And with just a few tweaks and some minor fixes, this would be a great dashboard for less than the cost of a latte here in the US. So let's jump into my computer and let's look at what I provided this consultant. What kind of instructions, what kind of data, and then let's look at the end result. So here's the fake data I provided the consultant. I provided them with a date table, a product table, a sales fact table, an inbound fact table, a warehouse fact table, and then definitions for all of the columns in the Excel file. This is fake shoe and apparel data. And this is an industry that I'm very familiar with from my time working at Adidas and Nike as a data analyst. I didn't provide the consultant much instructions other than, hey, I want you to build a dashboard that focuses on units sold and revenue. And this is what they came up with. So this is the dashboard. And right off the bat, you can see that the formatting is actually pretty good. They have KPIs along the top, evenly spaced. They have slicers over here uniformly on the right hand side. They have three graphs and they're breaking it down by quantity and revenue, which is what I asked them for. They then are breaking the products down by product family. And then they have a nice uh, kind of matrix or table here, I think, focused down on the bottom. Now, this might look basic to some of you, but again, keep in mind, I paid just $5 for this and $3.35 in fees to Fiverr. So this is not an expensive dashboard. So let's talk about what went right here. Well, first, I asked them to build me a dashboard that focuses on units sold and revenue. And this dashboard does just that. They have summary KPIs at the top, and they move from least detailed all the way down to most detailed at the bottom, which is great flow. They also did a great job with the spacing and the alignment, and I like that they went out of their way to actually set a wallpaper and a canvas background for this dashboard. They also used a good selection of visuals and some great colors. If I was an executive looking at this dashboard, I'd honestly be pretty pleased. And that's not to say there aren't some oddities here. Some visuals have rounded corners and others don't. There's a random page right here that was added in. When you go into Power Query, they left some errors right here, which is a little interesting in my date table. But again, you need to remember that this cost me just $5. Moving into some of the more complex issues with this dashboard, we got to go and we got to take a look at the data modeling. You see, they use the product table as essentially a bridge table. So they have the product table filtering the warehouse fact table both ways. And this probably should have not happened. This was meant to be a multi-star kind of fact table, which would mean that the product, the sales fact, and the date table would all be their own star. The inbound fact, the product, and the date table would be its own star. And then the warehouse fact product and the date table would be kind of its, you know, the third star in the data model. So you'd have three detached fact tables to two common dimension tables. And you could use the common dimension tables to filter down those uh, fact tables. But again, I provided minimal instruction and this was just $5. 
So let's look at the steps that this person had to take to build this dashboard. One, they had to look at my Excel file and understand the data by reading the definitions. Two, they had to import the data into Power Query and do some minor data transformations. Three, they had to build the data model. And four, they had to arrange the visuals in a way that makes sense, put some thought into the measures or KPIs that I as the customer might want to see, and then five, choose a color scheme and arrange it. Even if this person is lightning fast with Microsoft Power BI, that's still well over a half hour's worth of work. If I paid just, let's just say, 25 or 30 more dollars for an hour or two more of this guy's time and provided him the feedback that I gave in this video, I bet you we could get to a highly functioning dashboard real quick that would solve all of my needs for this hypothetical apparel company. So what does this prove? Well, frankly, this proves that unless you are willing to work for substantially less than US minimum wage as a data analyst, you should not try to start your own consulting company. And with that, I'm excited to introduce my next video series, Starting a Consulting Company with Offshore Consultants, where I'll be selling you a course for just $10 on how you can do the same. Just joking. But in all seriousness, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking it. It really helps the channel grow.